this morning. We have a uh, Hollywood Studios day planned, but our fast passes don't start until about noon. And this morning, Jackson woke up super sweet yeah. and asked, yeah. like a little cherub angel, if he could go to the Lego store. And we just couldn't say no, so. Um, got the stroller, and we're moving. So, we're off to Disney Springs this morning. It's about just before 10 a.m. and the stroller is having some technical difficulties. Um, just gonna stop for a second. Uh, yeah, we're going to Disney Springs. We're gonna have some breakfast, maybe at Starbucks or something. I can't think of what they have. Um, and go to the Lego store and then head to Hollywood Studios. So I'll see you there. Okay, that was the real life frenetic version of <laughs> my usual introduction to the day and I'm gonna give you the fake version. Good morning, friends. I woke up early and got myself dressed before my family got up. And I went downstairs to the lobby and got myself a coffee. And now I'm just sitting in this beautiful lobby, enjoying the morning. That's like normal people. And I'm just like, I'm pushing the stroller and we're on our way to Disney Springs and blah, blah, blah. This is my mother's copy. Look how fun my dad looks in his Lion King shirt. I love that he's embraced the Disney lifestyle. And my mom usually has ears. Where are your ears? Oh good. This really has been a very comfortable, beautiful hotel and a nice lobby to sit and um, my parents have been getting coffee in the morning at this fuel and then we, this has been our meeting space. Um, just like these few benches over here in the corner. We would definitely stay here again. This was a really good deal and um, sort of in between a moderate and a deluxe without quite so much theming. My ear. So my mother is modeling her new ears from Briar's Patches. Briar's Patches. Yes. Lovely. I love them. And if you can see the detail. Yeah, look at the fabric. They, oh, it won't focus. Yeah, they're, um, just little sketches of Disney things, mostly Magic Kingdom things, but I just thought they were really cute and versatile because they go with a lot of things. Yeah. And since I have time, I'll do a quick outfit of the day for myself. These are ears from She's All Ears Boutique. I've had them for a really long time. I got them before the um, Millennial Pink and Rose Gold ears came out, before the Rose Gold ears came out. And uh, they look very similar, but I like that the bow is um, sequined. And this is my um, shirt that I got at the Disney store recently that I showed in one of my haul videos. And it is uh, Lemire and Cogsworth and the roses. And these two are just sitting over here being super goofy. Too much laughing, guys. So tell us about your outfit. Um, um, um so what's the Buzz Lightyear shirt? version of no coloring inside is the coloring outside and the version of white but white here. It's actually a busy day here at Disney Springs and it's only 10.30, just before 10.30. It opened at 10 and there's like a ton of people here. What do you see? Straight ahead! They made a little Well this is the other entrance. Made out of Legos. Oh. Wow, it is busy in here. I was actually starting to feel very anxious in the Lego store, and I was also really hungry because I haven't had breakfast. And so I went out to the Starbucks and got our Old Faithful egg white bites, which is my favorite breakfast. And I gave myself a little treat. And this is the Cupid Frappuccino. And I'm not a Frappuccino person, but um, being pregnant, I've had to really like rethink my Starbucks orders. So I'm gonna like talk to you more about what I've been ordering, I think. This is a, no, it's a strawberry Frappuccino with dark cocoa curls and frapp chips. And it is like heavenly right now. I'm so happy. So this is definitely a pick me up. And then we're gonna go back in and breathe the Lego store, but thank goodness my parents are here and they're just watching him play Legos while we kind of revive ourselves. Okay, we're done playing <laughs> an hour later and we're making our selections. It's really hard for him to pick something because then he knows that the fun will be over and we'll have to leave. 
but you know this this vacation is about him too and this is what makes him super happy oh and also we got him a pretzel for breakfast because we're great parents are you still happy yeah, yeah. Who's got you the gift card you use? Um, Grandma Karen. Let me say thank you, Grandma Karen. Thank you, Grandma Karen. We were on our way out and I had shopping FOMO for being in Disney Springs and not buying anything. So I literally ditched the stroller and ran into Uniqlo because I wanted to get a size, like a large size um, unisex tee to fit my growing belly. So this does not fit right now, but I think by the time we come back, when my belly is big, it'll fit. And I thought it was so cute. So, I got myself a little something. We came back to the Dolphin because we're gonna take the boat from uh, the Dolphin Hotel to Hollywood Studios. And we also came back because um, my dad lost his magic band when we were in Disney Springs. And this has happened to me before. Um, and also we've forgotten to put Jackson's magic band on in the past when he was a baby or younger. Um, so pro tip, uh, if you carry a backpack into the parks, and you have more than one magic band. So every time you stay at a Disney resort, they give you a magic band. You can also purchase magic bands. Justin and Jackson and I happen to have a lot of magic bands because we stay at Disney resorts very often. So my tip is to keep your extra magic band, one for each member of your family, in a little pouch inside your backpack. And you never have to take it out, but if you misplace or lose the magic band that's on your wrist, then you will have, um, like mine is right here, then you'll have an extra magic band. Then all you have to do is um, deactivate or report lost the lost magic band and then just stick your other magic band on because everyone that you have is, um, is linked to your account and thus your park tickets. So that is my pro tip. Unfortunately, my uh, mom and dad only had one magic band so they couldn't do that, but he does have his annual pass. Or if you have all of them on and you don't have yours, you can just um, this, this get um, Justin's or mine. Okay, yeah, you could do that too. You could have, yeah, but you can't. You have to use your own magic band. That's, that's not true. But um, you can also use your um, annual pass card, your yellow card. It works as a park ticket as well, which my dad has in his truck. So that's why we came back to go get that and uh we don't really lose much time so that's good so um yeah that was my pro tip of the day we're in family Yay. okay jo justin and my mom are doing tower of terror right, i'm gonna leave my back and dad and me and jackson are going to muppet vision okay. here we go so we decided to switch our fast pass uh, for Muppets until after lunch. We're eating at the Sci-Fi Dine-In restaurant, which we're really excited about. But I made these reservations like 180 days out before we knew my parents were gonna be here, and so they're only for three people. So I wanted to come early to let them know there's gonna be five and to wait just a little bit longer, so that's what we're doing now. And uh, Justin and Mom are riding Tower of Terror, so. I can't wait to eat at Sci-Fi. We haven't been here in years and Jackson's never been here, so we're gonna have fun. It's our turn, it's our turn. Here we go. Ooh. Oh my goodness. This is our car, Jax. Thank you. You're gonna go in the front? Oh, I love it in here so much. It reminds me of my childhood. This was my favorite, favorite restaurant when we stayed here when I was eight. Oh my gosh, it brings back so many memories and it's so exactly the same. We ordered burgers and shakes and we're canoodling in the back seat. We used to take you to drive and cake. Remember they used to have the rides up and Okay, our milkshakes got here and they're almost gone. They were so good. Justin got Oreo. Thank you. And then our food just got here and Justin got the barbecue platter, which 
Looks really nice. I want a bite of that. See my salad? Yeah, the pickle looks good. I got the American Classic Burger and the Specialty Milkshake, which was red velvet. And everybody's having a great time. What did I have? What did you get? You want to tell them? No, I want mac and cheese. you to tell them. Okay, Jackson got mac and cheese and green beans and carrots and fries. And mom got the chicken. Oh, that looks really good. Yeah. The buffalo chicken salad. And is that what you got, Dad, or you got a burger? I got the burger. Oh. <laughs> Do you like this restaurant, Jackie? Do you like this? Tell Dad. Oh, wait, we're captivated by the car. License, license. I'm you got your own license to be a backseat driver? <coughs> wow. Oh, my goodness. There's Goofy. Oh, they're all coming by. Say it again. Time for Muppet Vision. I have the great honor of introducing the one of the only Mr. Mickey Mouse. Hello, my dear. Welcome to my car. I'm running away. Time. This is so cute. There's just kids doing hula hoops in the uh, Chinese theater area where there's um, all the prints on the ground. This is nice for kids to let out some energy. I love when they offer this kind of random stuff. Wow, good job. You can want to try? No. <laughs> go, Daddy, go. Go, Daddy, go. Go, Daddy. Oh, see, not so easy, is it? <laughs> We're going to go see The Voyage of the Little Mermaid, one of my favorite stage shows. And. Hey, kids. And fun fact. It's my Disney dream job. I've always wanted to be Ariel in the show and sing her solo every day. I think that would be my absolute dream job. We were like the first family in the Fast Pass lane, so we got my favorite row. The front one. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, you got really wet here. <laughs> Oh dear. Everyone's clapping and I love it. Under the sea. Under the sea. Dancing is better. Glamour is better. Take it from me. The way she can play the things on the street. The top rocking on the black fish. She sings the spell and the scrap. They know where it's at. I know that I'm no fish. No. <laughs> Didn't you? Didn't you? Only I can make him understand. I just don't see things the 
the way he does. You think they're right? Maybe there is something wrong with me. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl? The girl who has everything. Toy Story Land maybe a little bit more than we did last time because last time we were all overheating like immediately when we got in here and it wasn't it wasn't that magical also we all have slinky dog poster fast passes and I'm gonna do what I did yesterday with flight of passage and just ask a cast member if there's any alternative um, for me because now I'm pregnant I can't ride slinky dog poster and also Jackson doesn't want to he's afraid of riding a roller coaster so I'm just gonna ask and see if we can do maybe Toy Story Mania instead you're my favorite deputy <gasps> he's talking to you Jackson you're my favorite deputy you you're all my favorite deputies it's so busy in here but at least it's not hot there's Jesse and Woody what a fun thing. Andy's train. His Andy's train's not in Toy Story Land. Hear that, Disney? You need to make Andy's train. It really is so fun looking in here, though. I love it. I can't wait to come in here at night someday and see it all lit up. So Katie got her wish to go on Midway Mania instead. And me and Deb are going on Slinky Dog, dog. Dash. That's how straight up yeah. The queue is pretty incredible. Full disclosure, I snuck onto this uh, during my conference last month. <laughs> it is humid and blowing here. So we asked to go on the front row. So we have to wait for another train or two, but well worth the extra five minute wait. It's really well done in here though. It's our front row POV. <laughs> <laughs> well, I 
think he ran out of battery when just Justin and my mom were riding Flicky Dog. So I hope you guys see a little bit of it. And my dad and Jackson and I rode Toy Story Midway Mania and had a great time. And now we're just um, <laughs> going for our second Starbucks drink of the day. And I've got the pink drink, which is the strawberry acai refresher mixed with coconut milk. And it's only got like 40 to 80 milligrams of caffeine, so it's just enough caffeine, and I haven't had any caffeine today. And um, yeah, I think this is a, a good option, like I was telling you. I was uh, changing up my Starbucks orders based on the pregnancy, and this is a good one. So we're gonna head back out, um, and then my parents are headed back home. Back to the island. Back to the island, man. Back to the beach. So we had a great time with you guys. And we can't wait to do it again soon. And we'll see you at the island. Yes. We'll see you at the island. Bye bye. Well, it's about 7 o'clock. The boat ride from Hollywood Studios all the way to Epcot includes all three stops at hotels. So we were honestly in the, on the boat for about 40 minutes. Um, and it's seven now, so we decided to just stay in the boat and head into Epcot to get some um, festival eats from Festival of the Arts and maybe catch illuminations because Jackson is content in his stroller with his shoes off and just kind of chilling. And I got some energy back from sitting on the boat for 40 minutes. So we're showing you what we're gonna show you what we're eating and what we're doing at Epcot tonight. First time in here this trip, and that's our favorite. We just popped into England because you're standing on <laughs> because I wanted to grab some tea and Justin and Jackson were waiting and uh, Justin saw a celebrity, celebrity sighting. So Brooke, I think, or Blake Lopez, basketball player, and this is the second time we've seen him on Disney property. We saw him in Disneyland like in May, and now he's in Disney World. He must be a Disney freak just like us. How fun. <laughs> it is busy. I know I keep saying that. It's just we're not used to being here on um, like school vacation times. It's President's Day weekend. It's Saturday. And um, at least where we live, it's um, public school uh, vacation this coming week. So it's going to be like this our whole trip. Okay, we got some festival eats. I got the um, brie cheese over in France, and yes, if you're pregnant, you can eat brie cheese as long as it's pasteurized, and everything in Walt Disney World is pasteurized, obviously. Uh, and then Justin went over to Morocco, and what is this? Spiced beef with pita chips. Spiced beef in a cup with pita chips, and? Flatbread of some sort. So it looks really good, okay. Morocco had surprisingly really delicious offerings. That flatbread pizza had like Kalamata olives and a really good sauce and tomatoes. Oops. Delicious. Plus like all around the outside is just plain flatbread and Jackson ate the entire outside of it. Uh, and then Justin's, um, that beef in a cup, I wish I knew what it was called, was really good if you dumped it out and um, took all of the things together because it was, it was too hard to eat inside the cup. But. Um, all in all, really, really good. In Morocco canteen, mosaic canteen it's called. Mmm, I wish I could get this sushi donut. It looks so good. But that's okay. I don't need to eat sushi. Gosh darn, Epcot, you're so beautiful. This is like seriously our happy place. Ah. Oh. It's so beautiful and I am so happy. Jackson is like completely content. He's tired, but he's just happy to be in a stroller right now. And I'm so happy that we get to do this tonight. Okay, I just went to the American Pavilion um, and we got we each got a beef Wellington because Justin didn't want to share and I wanted to have some of it, so I might not eat it all, but. And then we also got the uh, world famous cookie, and we have the best setup because we're gonna get to watch this. I'm so excited. This was one of the things we were supposed to do the night that we were supposed to be here, but we didn't get here. Uh, and this is the Broadway star of Tarzan and the Broadway star of Mary Poppins performing tonight. And we didn't even have to get out of the stroller because there's stroller parking right here, like center stage. So he is happy as a clam. Also, Justin just ran to get him a piece of pizza at Italy, in Italy. 
and I'm just super happy right now. This worked out perfectly. See, you guys get it. Yes, you do. I literally could not be more happy right now. I know this isn't the best spot to film, but I can see it and hear it perfectly. Justin couldn't find pizza, but he found a pretzel, which is the next best thing to Jackson. He's happy as a clam. We literally have this wonderful trash can table. He had a ball with this. The beef wellington is delicious. Here's our enormous pretzel. And we also got the baked mac and cheese farm too. Okay, I just walked to England to find a spot for uh, illuminations and Justin and Jackson are just behind me. They went to the restroom, but um, I tried to take this walking time to get my thoughts together on the show that we just saw and I, I can't even explain to you how much that meant to me. Like, aside from Disney, uh, Broadway is like my second love and getting to see the stars of these Broadway Disney musicals um, perform songs that I just love and meant so much to me growing up and as a young person and being in musical theater and singing these songs myself. Each time we go on a Disney trip I say like there are certain times when it's just like a truly magical moment and that was a truly magical moment for me. That was something I will never forget and it truly meant so much to me. I'm so happy that we got to do that. That was just incredible. Seeing a Broadway star who played Belle on Broadway sing A Change In Me and seeing uh, another Broadway star sing uh, Santa Fe just like literally brought me to tears. I'm in tears now just thinking about it and talking about it, but truly guys, magical moment of the trip.
walked from the uh, England to the boat launch. And this little sweetie fell asleep so fast. He's so good. He just knows the drill. He watched eliminations and then he got in the stroller and laid down and went conked right out. Such a good little Disney boy. The swan and dolphin look beautiful at night. It's all lit up and these trees change colors. So pretty. They're still playing Disney music over here. Isn't this beautiful? Looks really impressive at night. Underrated resort. Underrated resort. We're gonna give you a more uh, in-depth review, but just know that this is a great deal. Staying at the Dolphin, good idea. Yeah, we were just saying um, we're gonna try and get a booking.com referral code to share with people um, because this is seriously such a good deal and we book on booking.com all the time and uh, it was very inexpensive comparative to um, Disney Resort. And it's basically like a step above a moderate. I'd say it's definitely better than staying in a moderate and almost, I mean, it's not as good as the deluxe, but it's like a third of the price. So definitely enjoying our stay at the Dolphin for sure. So we just walked into the first floor, which is uh, not the lobby, the floor below, and Blue Zoo is right here. We've eaten there uh, years ago and it was really good. And then this is the fountain, which is like, they have quick service area and they have a sit down area that my parents ate at. And they said the food was actually um, pretty decent. And it's happening here at 9.30 at night. Like there's a ton of people down here eating, so it must be open pretty late. I mean, at least until 10. And then there's a third restaurant down here called Fresh Mediterranean Market. Oh, there's breakfast down here. That one doesn't look open anymore, but it is 9.40 at night. And then there's Peekaboo Buffeteria, which is probably just a buffet or cafeteria, one of the two. So there are tons of dining options that do not re uh, require a reservation here. So also good to know, I think. And then of course, lobby level, there's fuel, which is coffees, pastries, sandwiches, like where um, we've been grabbing, well, my parents have been grabbing coffee and um, breakfast every morning. So tons of places to eat here, none of which require advanced planning. So that's also nice. You can't really do that at a lot of the Disney hotels. Since we're on the subject of dolphin dining, there's also Shula's in the lobby. Uh, steakhouse and there's a spa here. Oh, spa. And there is El Molino. Is it called El Molino? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, in the Swan, which is right next door. And then Kimono's, which is a sushi restaurant in the Swan. Well, that was quite a day. It sure was. Mm -hmm. It was a long day, but it was a lot of fun. Did a lot of good stuff. I think everyone had a great time. Everyone had a great time today. It was a long day. We left this morning and went to Disney Springs and we haven't been back to the hotel until now. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. So definitely a long day, but I wouldn't change what we did because that was, was full 12 hours. Huh? Yeah, it was like a 12 hour day. I did have lots of rest and lots of hydration, so I'm fine. But, um, and this is how we usually do Disney. Like this is just the way that our family operates. Like we don't usually take a ton of rest time. Um, but I'm, I'm so glad, <laughs> I'm so glad that we got to see the Disney Broadway concert series. That was one of the most magical moments for me personally it, that I've ever had in Disney. I couldn't stop crying. Like I was so emotionally moved. I'm also pregnant, but <laughs> I can't even chalk it up to that because like things that really move me make me cry. And that was just, just incredible. Even thinking about it makes me cry a little bit. So I better not talk any more about it, but suffice to say, one of the best nights ever. So magical. Mm -hmm. And we can't wait to have it's another probably one. probably our last illuminations too. Yeah, yeah, I'm so glad we stayed for illuminations because it might be one of the last times we get to see it because it's going away to make room for a new nighttime show, which makes us sad, but um, when they did that with Wishes, we were so sad and now we love Happily Ever After so much and we're so happy. So I'm sure it's gonna be great. 
but anyway we'll see you tomorrow we have um a really fun day planned nothing planned in the morning so we're going to take it easy much needed rest and we have a brunch reservation at california grill that we scored we're Can't really excited about that. yeah i've heard that's like one of the best dining on property right now so yeah yeah it's gonna be really special according to his twitter I don't diss the Twitter, but exacting he does. Exacting standards on Diz Twitter. Oh yeah, people are not afraid to be critical on Diz Twitter, <laughs> that's for sure. You want to go and, and talk about your love for Disney, you go on Instagram. If you want to be critical, then you go on Diz Twitter. <laughs> yeah, lots of complaining. Not a lot of complaints about Cali Grill Brunch, though. Well, there you go. So then, <laughs> then you know it's good. So we'll see you tomorrow, and have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.